Hey guys, Persistent Programmer here, and today we're going to do another LeetCode question ransom note. Okay, so the question is asking us to create a ransom note from a magazine um, set of strings that were given here. So let's go through an example and see what this means. So basically, you can imagine this problem as a collage. So you're given a magazine, and the magazine has some words let's say A, B, C, D, and you need to make a ransom note out of this, and you only need um, two words, like um, bad. So you are able to cut these words B, A, D, and put them in your ransom note. So that's the best way to visualize this question. And if you're able to do this, you need to return true. Otherwise, you need to return false. Great. So the first solution that can come to mind is a brute force one. So if we're given um, these two strings, we will go through each of the items and check if it is in the magazine or not. So the first um, string is the ransom note and the second string is the magazine. And yes, this would work, but the time complexity for this would be O of the um, two length of the string. So it would be M times N. So since we're iterating through each of the strings, this is a um, high time complexity um, to solve this problem. So whenever we're doing this kind of matching and frequency count, in order to reduce this brute force time complexity, one, one data structure that comes to mind is a map or dictionary. And yes, we can definitely use this to optimize um, our solution and solve this problem. Great, so let's try to manually solve this problem if we're given these two set of strings. So the first one is the ransom note, and the second one is the magazine string. Okay, so I'm just going to put these strings in our set here. And this is our magazine. And inside is our ransom uh, note set. So our ransom note, in our ransom note, we need to have A, A, B, B. And we also have these um, words, we have these characters in our string, but we also have an extra A and B. So looking at this, we can tell that the problem is asking us um, if we find a subset within the magazine, yes, we will be able to um, solve this problem and return true. So let's take our two maps here. So I have mapped out our um, Again, the first one is the ransom uh, string, and the second one is our magazine string. So in the ransom string, I can see that, okay, I have two A's, and I have three, B, three A's in the uh, magazine string. And that's okay. This is a pass, because you can see that there were some extra characters here um, that made it possible to still create a ransom string. Uh, ransom uh, no, and that's fine if if there are some extras um, But what we don't want is if we have a um, If we have two B's here in this case, and if we only have one B in the magazine That means this is the case that will fail and we need to return a false so if we had a system to map out both um, our ransom node frequencies as well as the magazine frequencies and then compare those two maps and return a false where each time if our uh, if our magazine mapping for that same character is less than our mapping for the same character in our ransom node and we return a false then yes we can solve the problem this way so let's quickly jump into the code and look at this solution. And then after that, I will optimize the code even further. Great, so I'm back in lead code. And as you can see, I've created my two dictionaries uh, to account for my frequencies. And this is how I'm populating them. Um, and after both my frequency dictionaries are populated, 
um, what I'm doing is I'm simply checking if our character is not in the uh, magazine or if our magazine count of that character um, is less than our note count of the character, in that case we're returning false. Otherwise we're returning true. Okay, so this solution does work and it is faster than the brute force solution. Um, however, we are creating two maps here. So the next step to optimizing this problem is to try to solve this problem using just one map. So let's go back to our drawing board and see how we can do that. Great, so what we can observe here is that our magazine is our entire universe and each of the ransom um, strings need to be a part of the magazine. So they are a subset of this magazine. So if we create a dictionary of the magazine, um, so let's take an example where we create a dictionary for this, this case. So we will have, um, so let's take this same example that we had. So for our ransom node, we have AABB, and for the dictionary, we have three A's and one B. So if we created this dictionary, we would have um, A is three frequency and B is one frequency, right? So we're doing this problem here. So the same example. Now, if I iterated over this magazine dictionary and each time I encountered an A, I just reduce the value by one. So I've encountered one A, so I'll we'll reduce this to two, and then now I'm here. And I encounter a second A, and I reduce this to one. And now I'm here, and I encounter a B, and I reduce this to zero. And then I'm at my second B, and I come here and I see a zero, and this could be a case where we need to return false, right? So if we see a zero um, in our magazine dictionary, we can just return the false. So there are two conditions to keep in mind. So either it is this that we see a zero, or um, we see a character that doesn't exist in the magazine. So let's say we had a Z here. So Z is outside the magazine um, universe here. So we cannot create a subset from if there was a Z in the ransom note. So these are the two cases um, we need to keep in mind. So it's a zero if our frequency is a zero or not found. Okay, and if we do this, our space complexity is just our um, the map that we need to create for our magazine. So it will be the size of the magazine. And our time complexity would be the length of our ransom string plus our length of our magazine string. And this is one of the most optimized solutions for this problem. Okay. All right, so if all of this makes sense, let's look at the code. Awesome, so I'm back in leak code, and what I've done is I've just commented out my previous solution, um, which had the two dictionaries, the node dictionary and the magazine dictionary. And instead, uh, what I've done is I've just created one dictionary, which is the magazine dictionary. And what I'm doing here is just populating the magazine dictionary each time I encounter a character. Um, and then the, I have implemented the two conditions here. So if the character is not in the dictionary or if the frequency of that character is zero, um, then we cannot create that ransom node subset. So in that case, return false. Otherwise, if we encounter a character that we have seen already, we just decrement the count by one. And if all of this passes, then we can return true. Okay, thanks guys. This was my code for Ransom Note. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. Alright, happy coding guys!